Let's talk about some shortcuts when working with this system.convert class and the different methods that you can pick here. Now, you don't have to necessarily come into the object browser and select something and right click and then copy it and paste it. That's just one way you can do it. It's just a matter of introducing how you can find these conversions within the object browser. So the real thing that you're doing here is you're just understanding what you have. So you don't have to even do this because say for example you go through and you say okay I need to convert to a boolean or you just come through first and you say okay what do I need to convert? Well just get into a flow of what, you, what you're doing there. Get into a flow of what you need and as you start to write you're going to just start writing and writing your code and writing your code and you're going to know basically what you're going to need as you need it. And if you need something you're going to while you're working you're going to say okay I need to convert this and then you're going to start to understand how it works. So you're going to be using it on demand because it's pretty easy to think about. Now you don't come through this way like I said. So you're coming through but let's say you did and you come through and you say oh wow there's so many booleans here and then you're going to say okay what do I need to convert from and then you're going to pick what you're going to convert from and then you're going to convert to. So that gets a little bit hard, a little bit too much thinking there. You want to come through and do something like this basically. Just come through start typing as usual you want to do int 32 and then you want to hit the parenthesis and then instead of going through all 19 of these and saying okay this and this and that this and that go ahead and put in your value if it's a string value with the number 2 and you know that it's going to successfully convert because it's going to fit within that 32 bit int then everything's okay so don't even worry about it so you can even put the value in there you can put your variable name there if you wanted to that's a u short so if we give this u short we're going to give this the value of minus two can't be that so we'll make it two we'll start with debugging we didn't have any output there so it did work see that I didn't even have to specify where this is going what what it's going to be assigned to not a problem no errors are involved there but we could take our console dot right line from here place it here get that all ready and then we go back and then we can see that it outputs two, no problems. So it's all set. That's how it works. Just just go ahead and use it, and don't even worry about it. Like when you're when you're writing something and you're you're going through and you're saying, okay, I have 19 functions for int 32. Go back and say, okay, go back to the dot and then pick boolean for example. And then you see, oh, I have 18. Well, chances are you're you're going to get something that you need because there are additional ones that aren't necessarily converting from the basic data types. They're also doing other things that you have to just get used to, and you'll see in other sections and they're more advanced ways of doing things. So don't get confused there. Just use it as you need to. But also know that when you're converting something, you have to be careful that you're actually converting to from something from a value that fits within a range that it fits within what you're converting to. So let's convert to a signed byte but instead we're going to pass in a value and then we're going to run minus 222 we know that doesn't fit in the sign byte well we're going to get an exception here we get an error we have to actually check for that you can see that we have an overflow exception we didn't trap for that and this value was either too large or too small for a signed byte we know that so you have to keep aware of what you're doing and it's also going to automatically pick a type here that it's going to fit that within. So you have to know what you're doing here within this range. You have to know what your variables are going to contain just as an explicit cast is going to need that as well. 22 fits, no problems. So as we move forward, as we get more and more into programming, you're going to see that checking for exceptions at runtime is going to be the priority as we start to learn about those things checking for errors and using try cats for example that we're not just dealing with her compile time errors the errors that we get syntax errors and other errors that we get that the compiler can find we also need to worry about the errors that happen within the program as far as the ranges of our variables for example and so many different types of runtime errors that you can encounter for the most part but a lot of it has to do with fitting within ranges so make sure you fit within your ranges